Hey, how's it going? Last night, I took the Micron, Sakura Micron pens and the Platinum Art Supplies pen, micro line pens, and I kind of just drew lines over this. I explained what I did with this bottle. This bottle, uh, just like this bottle, only I took the labels off and then the stickies remained, so what I did was I just took... Uh, 9 by 12 mixed media paper and I covered it and then glued it down with Elmer's glue all here and then I use my color it uh, watercolor markers and I kinda just messed around and doodled I did that with the color it watercolor markers I did that with my feet up watching YouTube videos that was last night and then for a video I decided to test out those pens and then I just made all these different designs and when I looked at it I was like eh, it's okay but nah, you know <laughs> some parts look really cool other parts are like not so much and and I'm thinking well you know it's really my design or you know my design so if I don't like it I can always rip off the paper and try again you know or take off the paper, turn it around, <laughs> and, and try again or something. But that would give a very distressed look on the other side because the stickies from the label, man, that's a... I'm going to show you right now. I'm maybe going to show you. This has a silver. I don't know if you can see that. Look, it has silver. Maybe I'll leave that one on. <laughs> that's cool. Show ya. Okay. So you see that what's left behind there? Well, I didn't want to remove it because my method for removing takes about a day. And so I thought, well, I'm just going to take some mixed media paper and put it over it, wrap it around or whatever, and then color it. So that's what I did. So anyway, it sat for a week with the sticky, the adhesiveness on there without any mixed media paper. I just put the mixed media paper on uh, last night. And then color, I think it was like Friday night to Saturday morning, I think I did that or something. And then I thought, hey, let's try out the pens. Okay, then this, this little thing right here. So I'm going to, today, I'm going to add more color to it with these distressed crayons. I got the five pack. So, I know, lots of talk. Lots of, what's that called? <laughs> talk. There they are, the five sets. Am I going to try all five sets? Hmm. I definitely want to, and I'm going to uh, color them with that and then go over with the baby wipe in case I didn't say it and if I did oh I might have short term memory loss <laughs> I guess. and I hope that's not the case I think it's because I'm recording so I don't know did I say that and you know I say that to my students because I have at the time uh, when, just, when I was just teaching reading for a while I would have six seven eight different reading classes usually seven and I would say one thing to one, two, or three of my classes, say the same thing and try and say the same thing. So then by the time I got to the fourth or fifth or sixth class, I, I would say, did I say this? Have I told you? You know, type of thing. I mean, depending on my students to tell me the truth. Yeah, miss. <laughs> Don't tell us anymore. <clears throat> so maybe I'll do this. Do I have brown on here? I don't have brown, but this is why I use the brown micro, micron pen and micro line pen. So maybe I'll add brown, that brown. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the, as closely as I can get it, uh, the rainbow colors. Oh, there we go. This is from the micro, uh, micron pen and the micro line pens. So I want to see, that looks red, <laughs> that's, 
That is red. Festive berries, because it looks like uh, the cap looks like it's pink. That also looks red. Well, it's a little bit brighter, like a vermilion type of red. And I'm just going to see... This is... This goes on very smoothly. Rusty Hinge. These are some of the spiced marmalade. Rusty Hinge and... I think Candied Apple, maybe, he mentioned. Tim Holtz did. Ooh, I like that soft, soft, soft. And I'm sure there's a way to use these, and I'm sure I'm not using these the way that Tim Holtz intends us to use these, but I don't ever use things the way they're intended to be used. And that's part of the the arting, the exploring, the experimenting. Ooh, what is that? Lucky Clover. Also, it's good to see if they're... have not been used. I hope they're not been used. One of these one of these packs this is Salty Ocean oh, I may have just killed that tip there. This is Mermaid Lagoon and Chipped Sapphire Catchy names. Wilted Violet. In the past, I've called these by the colors that I see them as purple. Isn't it like indigo there? Indigo? I don't know what these are. Turquoise here. Forest green. Spring green. Mm. Seedless preserves. All right. <coughs> oh, I didn't try out the brown. Vintage photo. Hmm, that's not really. Is that brown? That looks like up close and personal here. It's a very dark brown. What other types of browns do I have? I have walnut stain. Oh, maybe walnut stain instead of instead of that one. That looks more like. I'm not going to tell you what it looks like. Mm, it's hard to say. Spray some water on it, Tammy. I should probably refill this bottle. It's getting a little low. <laughs> it's getting a lot low. the way I expect it. Also, I'll tell you that in case you haven't yet watched the video before this, I know, I'm spreading them all together. <gasps> Horrors! That's cool. <laughs> I like that. I like that look. Anyway, uh, I should tell you that I sprayed this with Mod Podge Ultra. I'm going to I'm gonna come I'm gonna turn this back on turn this off and turn it back on. I'm going to set the timer, uh, pull the cat's food out and set the timer, and then that that'll give me twenty five minutes to work on this and see how fast I can work on it. What also I'm gonna fill this bottle and what I'm thinking about doing is since I sprayed the Mod Podge Ultra on this already. I am actually going to spray this bottle with water and then put these colors on because I want to see what that effect will be. So I'll be right back. Okay, we just had this thought when I just sat down and I was thinking if I spray this with water first then I'm, I won't be using the baby wipes to to blend it out. Oh, maybe I will. I don't know. I don't know. But I did fill the bottle. I did set the timer. I got 25 minutes or a hair less. So, am I doing this without a net, so to speak? <laughs> By net, I mean wax paper. Hello, baby coconut. 
Do you want to be on camera today? I'm sorry, let me get this out of your way. Do you want to be on camera? No, you don't. This is her tail. No, you can't show it to her. She doesn't, she doesn't want to have anything to do with it. She's going behind the curtain to hunker down and wait till dinner. Wait till the dinner bell goes off. Okay, I've got the wax paper. Keep wax paper right there. I just don't want to dirty up the mat here, which is already dirty. I don't know what I'm worried about. Okay, loud noise. It's not very loud. I tried to move it away from the camera. This is probably louder, so excuse the crinkles. That's more to myself than my viewers, <laughs> because I hate when it crinkles and I'm in editing. Oh my goodness, sneezing too! No, no, we can't sneeze today. Because mm -mm. that would be... Oh, and you on too. Oh, sleep deprived, yep. <laughs> it's, it's Sunday, it's Sunday night. I can't be sleep deprived. I'm sleep deprived because Blue was having a respiratory problem. And what did I say I was going to go with? The, this one, right? I'm going to go with that one. Maybe I'll do that one first. No, no. Okay, where does this go? Let's go right. I wanted to know with these if uh, the walnut stain, Tim Holtz was trying it out on the paper, and I wanted to know if it had a yellowish tint to it when it gets wet. Uh, because aged mahogany does and that's uh tried that out with the uh, my homemade embossing folders okay i also brought this with me and this is for uh this empties quickly so i don't know if it's going to empty quickly or not so we're going to see let me do this i can't get organized that's a bad thing <laughs> shake it even though it's water now, this has been sprayed with Mod Podge, Mod Podge Ultra. I put it in a box and sprayed it up as long. And the Micron Microline <laughs> pens, Micron and Microline pens. Hey, I should test, let's test this out. See if I thoroughly spray the Mod Podge on there. Oh, I don't know. It's either coming through or coming up. What do you think? Oh, I didn't do a good job there. Hey, that might work out in my favor, though. <laughs> so, I'm thinking that might work out in my favor. Let me try the other side and see if that... I need a, like a Technicolor uh, baby wipe anyway. Anything coming up? Oh, the blue. Hmm. Well, I could have sworn I sprayed that really well, and that well that explains why I was thinking. Wow, it's very, very matte. You know, the first time I've ever, even Mod Podge matte glue, has a little bit of a shimmer to it. What am I doing here? Oh, I was gonna do that brown. Let me do the brown first. Okay. Let's do it. So I could zoom in a smidge. Just a smidge right there. The purple on the bottom there, that's from a metallic marker. If I'm using this wrong, go ahead and yell at me in the comments. But I'm thinking, what really is wrong? I am going to take a, a baby wipe to this right now. And I'm going to just kind of blend it in. Maybe it won't leave a line like uh, other watercolor crayons do. Hmm. 
And I'll take orange over it later. Also, I do expect this to pill. So, because it's mixed media paper, it is not watercolor paper. I know. What was I thinking? I was thinking, I need paper to wrap this. i got to wrap this with paper. Okay, now with this, I'm going to use the rusty hinge as well. Add more color down on the already wet paper. It grows on like butter. Smooth. And I'm going to add a little bit. See, it's some of the papers coming off on the... Maybe it lent this. I hope that's not lint from the baby wipe. Maybe it is. Maybe a circular motion type of deal. Getting into muddy waters right there. That mud look. I'm okay with the mud look. Mud is brown. Why be normal? It's kind of a... Talk about a rusty hinge. <laughs> it does look like a rusty hinge color right there. Okay. I'm works and still works in. I'm still works in on the orange. I'm still working on the orange here. Now this is yellow. Different shades of yellow from the color it watercolor markers that I'm coloring over. And also the Micron... Micro line, the Platinum Heart Supplies pen had a yellow, so there, that's very not very noticeable at all, actually. Okay. And when I go in and do the yellow, I'm going to actually add all of the yellows on there. Look at that. That's cool too. <laughs> I don't mind. It's different. It's unique. Before I take the baby wipe, I'm going to put all the yellows on there. I like this one. Is this fossilized amber? Yep. That's what it is. On this orangey, yellowy coloring space here. It looks cool. Okay, don't add the water yet. This is mustard seed. I was thinking fossilized amber has more of a mustard mustard color. Go in different directions. You know the the why be normal mantra here. Method technique. I'll figure out what word I need. Remember, jargonitis. This one is squeezed lemonade. That does look like lemonade. Now, when Tim Holtz showed the uh, distress spray, distress oxide spray, uh, he, and he was showing it how it was on a card, it did not look like, it looked like limeade to me. It didn't look like squeezed lemonade at all. And he was saying, look how much that looks like squeezed lemonade. And I'm thinking... Okay, maybe my eyes are going. No, I got brand new glasses on, but that does not look like squeeze lemonade. Okay. Take a different different tip here that hasn't been smudged with color. And I'm just going all over it, you know. I'm not concentrating on where everything where I placed everything. And it's not because I forgot where I put it. <laughs> it's it's just because, you know, I just want to see what kind of doodle, doodle, wonder, happy accident I make type of deal. Is it really a happy accident if I'm just... We're going to call it that. Okay. Did I pull off all the colors? It certainly made it brighter. Wow, that is way brighter. Okay, moving right along to the greens and once again I'm gonna just do 
some green here. Now this right here, this dark streak here, that's uh, metallic purple. I just went hog wild with it. And the reason this purple is here is because I tried that metallic purple down here, but uh, I accidentally wiped it entirely off with a baby wipe. And I thought, oh, I thought those were permanent metallic markers. Oh, <laughs> darn it. Nope. Nope, not the case. This was Twisted Citron, or Citron, or however you want to pronounce it. I live here in the Rio Grande Valley, so it's Citron. Citron, I think. I could be wrong. I'm really bad with Spanish. <laughs> no habla espanol, except for that. And you know my five favorite Spanish words, which are, I know you're dying to know, and I think I already said it once in a video, uh, taco, enchilada, fajita, that's my favorite, favorite Spanish word, <laughs> uh, cerveza, and baño. Are you laughing yet? Are tears, tears of joy and laughter coming down your face? Okay, maybe that wasn't green. That was uh, peacock feathers. It's technically kind of green, wouldn't you say? It? I would say it is. Oh, wait. I'm going to uh, put some up here. Oh, yeah. That has a bluish tint to it there. You see it? Or maybe. While I'm at it, just throw in the blues, too, while you're at it. There's not even really much of a difference there between Peacock Feathers and Mermaid Lagoon. But there, there is a difference, a marked difference. This one's bluer. The Mermaid Lagoon is much bluer. And the Peacock Feathers has that greener tint, the, the teal color. This is Salty Ocean. I'm trying to get, let's see if I can get the lighter, unnoticeable look of the lighter color there. Oh, I went out. <laughs> What's that going to make? A mess! <laughs> I'm sure Dawn won't mind if I make a mess. And that added to the pink, of course, makes purple. So you can't really tell that it's blue. This is all going to blend in, you know, and who knows what kind of colors it'll make since I'm blending without care. Right, I'm trying to. How much time do I have? <gasps> About 10 minutes? I'm almost done anyway. Oh, wait. <laughs> now let's. I'm going to do a separate, a separate wipe here because, and I think I'm going to come down like this. Just gonna do this then. No conventional method here. Move along if you're looking for a conventional crafting, hacking, mixed media type of method. Were you? Just trying to get the most out of my watercolor crayons. I'm sorry, what are these called? Distress crayon. Oh, wait. Water reactive something. <laughs> Water reactive pigments, that's what it is. It's on the the label on the, the package there. When I first sprayed this with water after I put the watercolor markers on it, I noticed the green came dribbling down like that. I'm like, oh! And there was a little bit on my mat, but I was able to clean that up. Good. Right? Whew. Wipe the sweat off my brow. <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad. And this is like a Tuscan red color that I'm covering up here. I think that was what it was called. Pink? 
I need to get the pink out. I don't know why I'm not using the pink. Oh dear. Where is that pink? It is, a, is it spun sugar, right? Spun sugar. Is there another pink? Oh yeah, this one. This one is a uh, picked raspberry. I didn't try it on the paper first. <laughs> there, I tried on that paper. Hardly noticeable. Not noticeable. Nope. This is as bad as the yellow micro line from Platinum Art Supplies. Picked raspberries. I hope these weren't used worse. I'm hoping these were not used first because one of the packages came damaged. It was ripped. And I thought, what's up with that? And I fixed it with duct tape. <laughs> so, yes, go ahead, fix it with duct tape. Okay. And I'm going to add this. I don't know if I did or not since it's sitting away from the rest of the bunch. We are going to town and totally destroying this paper. <laughs> Is it really? No, it's not totally destroyed. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So since you're beholding this, what do you think of it? It's definitely abstract. We're not going after any type of picture. It is definitely a doodle. 3D even, possibly. And now I'm just using, trying to use up the space on the baby wipe. Trying to stay in view. If I'm not in the view uh, screen panel or something or in the viewing range, I do apologize. Sometimes I get carried away with my artistic tendencies or attempts, <laughs> whatever you want to call them, that I'm not paying attention to if I'm in the screen panel. So I apologize. Ooh, I kind of like that. I like the, this kind of has a weird look to it, but that is actually this dark stuff here. How that looked before I put the Mod Podge Ultra on and after I put the water on, before I put the fine point pens on there. And those, um, that's cool. I like that. Okay, let's see. What I should do is take this pen, take this pen, <laughs> take this, see if I can get in there. Where was that? <laughs> Where was it? I lost it. Oh wait, right there? Lost my direction. Lost my place. No line cutting. This is like, I like the wrinkledness, you know. I'm get, It's going to tear soon if I'm not careful. Okay. Let's try it now. What do we got left? I got about five minutes. If I think of something else while I'm getting my pens wet, getting my watercolor crayons wet. I think of something else to do with this while I'm feeding the cats, and I'll definitely come back. Come back in. I'm not going to do a sign off until after I get back after feeding the cats. Oh, there we go. Now, ooh, I'm dripping, dripping stuff on my. 
I know, you You might be thinking I'm wasting the baby wipes, but I don't see it that way. Because <laughs> I use these baby wipes for baby wipes for art purposes, so nothing is a waste on, in that regard. Cool. Cool beans. Do people still say that other than, you know, me? <laughs> yeah, man. Zoom out a little. Maybe do a... I can do a screenshot before the timer goes off. Man. I don't know if I'm... Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool. Smile! I, you were not expecting that. I know it. I'm going to do that that way. Smile! Okay! So, I'm going to wait before I sign off, and I'll come back in and sign off, because... Sometimes when I'm, you know, doing the mundane tasks of a, of the crafty cat lady, some ideas just pop into my head like, now what can I add to it? Or should I add the Mod Podge Ultra spray again? Since it's, I think I can add it while it's wet. Yeah. Yeah, man. I kind of want to um, maybe color in a little bit more here. Maybe. We'll see. I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to... Cats are fed. I'm going to bring in this... What color is this? Dashing Dark Green. It's a Color It watercolor marker. And I am going to bring it in a little. And move it up a little. I'm going, I want to get, this was like an olive color, and I kind of want to get rid of that, because it just is not pleasing to me. And this is still wet, this water, this, this paper is still wet. spray bottle. Oof. Sorry about that. A little bit loud for you.
have a fresh baby wipe and I'm going to fold it fold it in half if I can just gonna let the baby wipe soak up some of the color there almost like putting down a, a stamped image that's been inked you know to give it time to soak into the paper <clears throat> only now we're in kind of reverse order let me zoom out a little here just a little bit oh look at that that's cool too <laughs> All the different colors. Mix it up a little. Cool, right? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that computer. <laughs> I'm waiting for... <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm waiting for the blue screen of death because the... I paused the updates for Windows because I got the blue screen of death in March and then during spring break, I think it was during, oh no, I think it was the week after spring break, of course, that's that's fitting. I'm like, why couldn't you do this during spring break? <laughs> you know, when I had time, time to go in and turn you off. <laughs> so that is so cool. Oh, I don't have a... Uh... Now if I can move it around a little. Oh, let me move it. Nope. Not gonna let me move it. I am picking up some of the green though, so that's good. That's what we want. Pick up some of the green, not all of the green. Okay, then. Where is the... Is this your ASMR? <laughs> I hope it's mine. Let's put it that way. I hope it's mine. Some Lucky Clover. I'm just going to go around these spots here. It's very smooth. I don't know what my cats are doing. Oh, Blue's back there. I don't know what Blue's doing. What are you doing, Blue? Maybe it has a bug. She came home from work one night last week. I, I have no idea what night it was. <laughs> and they had a bug cornered in the hall and I'm like because usually coconut is not in the hall when I come downstairs it takes a little while to realize hey mommy's home maybe I should go down she might feed me soon and they were both in the hall hunkered down looking in one direction I'm like oh what do you got what do you got you know and I kind of realized yep it's a bug it's gonna be a bug and I I was able to get the bug <laughs> get rid of the bug and of course then they're looking around like where is it where is it and I said all gone bugs all gone <laughs> yeah man that's I don't know what I don't know I don't know what to say about it. it's like maybe I should just quit while I'm ahead or behind or I don't know we'll see how it goes oh I was gonna get the uh the Mod Podge Ultra so I'm gonna get that 12, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> I have to do that. Uh, there are bubbles there, Tammy. It says, shake bottle gently. How do you shake a bottle gently? <clears throat> okay. going to move that out of the way. 
come out a little. Come out all the way. And I think before when I first sprayed this, I put it in a box and I kind of just sprayed it a little bit. I And I thought, I certainly don't want to like soak it. But here, um, spray an even coat six to eight inches. <laughs> I don't think I was six to eight inches. From the surface while moving from side to side. I probably didn't do that either. To prevent excess application and prevent drips, apply several thin coats rather than one thick coat, Tammy. <sighs> it says, elevate project on a wire rack or use bottle caps. Ooh. Then coat project by spraying until wet. Well, <laughs> doesn't that contradict what it just told me about applying several thin coats instead of one big wet coat, one thick coat. Yes, I would think that does. Then it says, while surface is wet with Mod Podge Ultra, add design elements, papers, fabric, sand, shells, or other 3D objects. Oh, no, I don't wanna. Ooh, look at that. You see that on the side? That looks cool. Right there. I like that. It's an awesome feature right there. Okay, now how am I going to spray the other side? Because I want to spray the other side. <laughs> so, I want to spray the other side while we're here. While I'm here. I am, I can't be six to eight inches. Sorry, I just can't do it. And I'm going to put a thick coat on. Let it drip and all that jazz. There's no smell to this, at least I cannot smell it. And I'm thinking, oh, a cat with respiratory problems and I'm spraying this stuff. He is not anywhere near here, thank goodness. Okay, so I'm going to let let that dry. <laughs> I already did screenshots, right? Do I need to do a screenshot with the Mod Podge on there? Like, can I get it, get it on there? I'm just going to put it. I'm not gonna put it. I'm gonna, 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 gonna. I am gonna, gonna. I'm gonna use my <laughs> distress crayons. I don't have any bottle caps right now, so. All right. Oh, gotta get it. I gotta get it uh, kind of straight, kind of. Smile. I was not an enthusiastic command I want to do say cheese okay oh, I don't know why I gotta get it straight at least get the bottle straight I don't care about the pens okay <coughs> Say, okie dokie. Okie dokie. Cheetos, smile. When you say smile, that doesn't. When you say the word smile, <laughs> that doesn't create a smile. That's me plopping down on my chair there. Okay. That still looks cool. It's got a wrinkled look now. It's like a totally distressed, wigged out. Wild, wild and woolly covering for this bottle. All right, that is so cool. Okay, and look, I got a little bit. Of... <laughs> I want to wipe it off. Sure. <laughs> okay, I'm going to randomize. And let us. I'm going to do the finger spin. That was. That was. Ooh, perfect. Have a zazzy day. I was going to do it again because the spin wasn't 
<laughs> very enthusiastic. Whatever. Bye.